everyone, I'm Diana Davison, advocate for the falsely accused and wrongfully convicted. I'm also co-founder of The Lighthouse Project, that's my nonprofit, where we advocate for people accused of sexual assault and also are seeking to change the world for people who have faced this type of highly controversial and stigmatizing accusation. One of the problems that we want to address this year is that people, the moment that they're falsely accused, uh, face employment issues where their employers will demand that they resign or they will um, be fired because of the accusations and the employers don't want to take a risk. Now, before I get into my subject of the week, I want to announce that Lighthouse is not one of those types of employers. We are now actually um, working with a falsely accused man who's been vindicated in courts that's Mustafa Orar. He's now working with the Lighthouse Project. Mustafa is an incredibly brilliant um, person who has two degrees in political science, and he will be working with us to try and address systemic problems that face the falsely accused. Now, the subject of the week, very similar situation. We have a man in Canada who's essentially being turned into the Canadian version of Harvey Weinstein, that is Albert Schultz. Now, I don't know anything about this case specifically yet, but I am going to do a number of reports on this, talking about what I do know about the theater community and the film community. Albert Schultz is a um, Order of Canada uh, theater producer, uh, along with his wife, who co-founded a production company called Soul Pepper. So four women have now filed a civil suit against Mr. Schultz, and he has immediately been forced to resign, not just him, but his wife as well. Now his wife, as far as I know, has not been accused of any knowledge of these crimes um, or any of these allegations. She's completely innocent and potentially maybe a victim of Mr. Schultz herself, but she has been forced to resign as well. And this is really problematic because Mr. Schultz now has a number of bills if his wife supports him she can no longer maintain her employment either in order to help the family meet these accusations in civil court. Now I'm going to do a number of follow-up videos talking about uh, my perception of how these things uh, play out and why they play out the way they do. I condemn the demand that Albert Schultz's wife resign her position. Nobody has made any accusations against his wife, and I see no reason why she should be forced to be unemployable as well. This is what would be called a scorched earth tactic. So these litigators don't want to actually complete the lawsuit. They're trying to make sure that Albert Schultz and his wife cannot afford to litigate so that they get a settlement. It's incredibly immoral. It should be barred from court. And they went to the press conference with the people who are backing them, demanding that all people associated with Albert Schultz, including his wife, resign from Soul Pepper. They want to make sure that he can't afford to litigate. So I'm going to be covering this in more depth. But in the meantime, donate to Lighthouse Project because we're one of the employers who aren't afraid to work with people who've been falsely accused.